Was that were strings? Whoa! Yeah, boy. Hi, Snakeys. It's me, Fifi, and I'm back. I'm back again today with another meow. It is meow, isn't it? I feel like I wasn't sure in the first debut, and I think I asked, but I can't remember if anyone said. It makes sense that it's Meow. I'm just always so like anxious and like worried that it's, when it comes to K-pop groups, that it's the wrong thing. I don't know, maybe it's just like trauma from like the early days of discovering K-pop and just like mispronouncing group names so bad. Um, anyway, we are back with another, I think, single release, um, and it's called Toxic, I can't lie. The fact that the title is Toxic has me really excited. I think because I associate Toxic with like Britney Spears, of course. So like, I just feel like it's automatic, iconic, automatically iconic. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Let's just go. Disclaimer, I don't like to react with captions on as I find them distracting. I like to concentrate on the music and the music production is what I like to comment on the most. When I'm looking at the words at the bottom of the screen, I'm missing parts of the song, their vocals, and I'm missing parts of the MV and choreo. I'll read the lyrics later in my own time. Okay guys, let's go. Meow, toxic, MV. Also apologies if like the quality of this video keeps going bad because I film in daylight and it's getting cloudy and then uncloudy and then super cloudy so apologies for that you know what it's like here on my channel man i ain't got the big setup uh but let's go meow toxic envy yeah wasn't expecting that Oh, I feel like we're gonna really get to hear like their talents, their vocals and stuff. So better come back talking sweet. Reconsider. But I'll find you when you leave. I never read the signs. Try me with the lights. Baby, I've been mine. Oh. Sounds like something of of Taylor Swift's Midnight's album. Like it's given Jack Antonoff production. Ooh. Was that the strings? Whoa! I love this pre chorus. I'm 
I'm doing the na 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 I love the delivery. Some of these shots are stunning as well. Wow. I really, really like that. If I had listened to this a few months ago, I probably would have found it boring. However, over on TikTok, if the, go follow me on TikTok, Fifi Zappa. Um, I accidentally started to do Taylor Swift song breakdowns. Like, it just all happened by accident, basically. I did like one of those filters, like rank, rank, blind rank albums, and I'd never listened to a Taylor Swift album in my life. Um, and you, I think if you're subscribed to me, you know me, and you know my style of music. And I ranked the albums just based on like the album covers. And then all the Swifties came to women and were like, listen to this album, or no, someone was like, do a blind ranking of her song. So I did a blind ranking of her songs just by the song title. And then I was like, oh, please listen to this song. Please listen to this song. I did one song. I was like, okay, this was actually a lot more enjoyable than I thought it would be. And then from there on, I just kept like getting requests to do songs. And I've ended up breaking down like a lot of Taylor Swift's songs. Um, and believe it or not, I've actually <laughs> learned to really, really enjoy them. And that was really surprising for me. I feel like I'm an open-minded music listener in general. So whenever I listen to something, I'll always go into it like quite open-minded. Um, but yeah, so I feel like I've been open to a different style of music a lot recently. And specifically Taylor Swift's Midnight, so the tracks that I've done of Midnight. Um, this song really, really reminded me of that. The simplicity of the production, so very, very, very minimal, simple beat. Um, and if you didn't know, Taylor Swift works a lot with a producer called Jack Antonoff, and that's really like his style. It's kind of like really sort of really minimal, simple beats, not too much going on. Uh, synths, really nice melodies, um, minimal moments where it sort of empties out and you can focus mostly on like the vocals. Um, and then his, his songs tend to have like gradual build-ups where going, you know, coming from the bridge towards the final chorus, things sort of pick up, more synths are added, the beat usually picks up. Um, and that really reminded me of a track off like Taylor Swift's Midnight's album or a song that Jack Antonoff would do. So I really, really enjoyed it. And I, like I said, a few months ago, I don't think I would have, but now that I've like opened that window in my mind and allowed myself to enjoy these types of songs a lot more, I feel like this was like perfect timing for me. Um, but yeah, I love the minimal beat. It came in really simple. The tempo of the song made me feel like it was gonna go in a completely different direction and it didn't, but I'm really, really glad for that because Meow was so different. Um, I liked Meow. Um, I feel like the ending of that song just sealed the deal for me because it was Brazilian funk. I'm a huge fan of Brazilian funk. It wasn't completely Brazilian funk, but it did have that that influence in there. It was sprinkled, so that really worked for me. And it's some it's a sound we don't get too much in K-pop. A lot of people weren't vibing with, vibing with it though. They felt it was the typical sort of YG or the Black Label formula. Um, I actually think it wasn't because again they delved into a sound that isn't really done that much from these two companies or K-pop in general. Um, I liked it, a lot of people didn't. A lot of people did, it's not like everyone didn't like it, but I did see some complaints. Those of you who are complaining, I hope you've checked this out and you don't have to like the song, but I hope you've listened to this song and seen that they are gonna be offering something a little bit different as well. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like from this as well, you're able to hear that they have really really good vocals like their vocals were stunning um no, i love their tones but not only that which is the most important thing for me like i just don't really care so much about skill and stuff like that however they did show that they are skillful as well some riffs some runs in there the ad libs were impeccable i feel like whoever wrote this song um obviously not lyric wise so i wasn't concentrating on the lyrics but melody wise um, really did it for me, especially in the ad libs. Like that's the most important part for me when it comes to melodies. Like those little vocals in the back. Um, I really enjoyed it. I loved some of the visuals from the MV as well. I've been ranting. Oh, I haven't been ranting. I've just been yapping, basically. That's the word I'm looking for. I've been yapping, but I enjoyed it. I like them. I like them. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I 
love you. Gonna follow me on Instagram, guys. Gonna follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Goodbye.